Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Thursday, July 13. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says his administration is in full support of the development of local marijuana-infused products, but the necessary procedures must be followed. He made the statement yesterday as he addressed a function held to announce a major breakthrough for a locally developed drug to treat acute myeloid leukemia. Cresserol, which contains cannabis, has been granted orphan drug designation by the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA. It was developed by Jamaican scientist Dr. Henry Lowe and a team of researchers based in the United States. The Prime Minister commended Dr. Lowe and the team, adding that government was implementing the necessary regulations to support scientific innovation. And what is of importance is that the government of Jamaica has to ensure that it meets all the international standards, that we are compliant, the plant, my cannabis, and the drugs that could potentially come from it, um, in many countries are still not recognized, and some countries still consider it illegal. St. Anne is closer to witnessing the establishment of a Craft Development Institute, CDI. The Tourism Product Development Company, Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, and Ziacom Limited signed a contract on Tuesday for the completion of the business case plan. Ziacom is expected to produce the plan at the end of three months, while Edna Manley College will provide training to those who will be benefiting directly from the institute. In addition to training, the CDI will also provide certification, support the development of authentic Jamaican craft, and protect new designs. It will form the basis of entrepreneurship and to provide the framework for more jobs to be created and for more income to be derived and consequently a greater hope for prosperity. The facility is scheduled to open in September 2018. 133 textbooks from the Ministry of Education's approved 2017-2018 supplementary list will be surveyed by the Consumer Affairs Commission, CAC, ahead of the new school year. The exercise, which is a partnership with the Education Ministry, will be undertaken during the final week of July and the results made available by the second week of August. This annual exercise is being carried out in order to provide parents and guardians with timely information on prices and availability, which will guide book purchasing decisions. Parents and guardians may use the Commission's price inquiry tool, incidentally, which is on our website, which you can use to make informed decisions before you make a purchase. The Rural Agricultural Development Authority, RADA, and the University of Technology have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to develop a Master's of Science degree in Integrated Rural Development. The program is slated to begin August 2018. This MOU provides broad terms for RADA to support UTEC with not only the development of the program, but also in providing internship opportunities for students. It will also allow for the provision of training for RADA staff in critical areas related to rural development. CEO of RADA, Peter Thompson, says this is a strategic partnership which will benefit rural Jamaica and its environs. When universities partner with industry, great things can happen. And we expect that out of this, there will be solutions, practical solutions that will be able to address some of the issues that we have out there in the communities. UTEC President Professor Stephen Bassiani also welcomed the partnership. We are committed to the objectives of the partnership, which include, among other things, developing community rural development specialists, increasing knowledge and technical skills of citizens working in rural development, and promoting rural entrepreneurship and the use of evolving technologies as the engines of growth for rural development. And finally, the 19-member Labor Reform Commission established in 2015 has completed and presented the Reform Agenda Report for the country. Labor and Social Security Minister Shahini Robinson says the work of the Commission is crucial for tackling the fundamental problem of unemployment. Especially among youth, while making greater advancements in social protection coverage for all, especially pensioners. 
It will strengthen the ministry's mandate for human capital development, empowerment of vulnerable groups in the society, and incorporate more Jamaicans in the development process. Minister Robinson was speaking at an end of project ceremony held recently. The labor market reform is aligned to Jamaica's sustainable development goals and is in keeping with the ILO's decent work agenda. The commission was selected to focus on five key thematic areas, namely education and training, productivity, technology and innovation, labor policies and legislation, social protection and industrial relations, um, to include institutions, customs and practices. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching.